What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. Today we're going to be doing command pullbounds. Now before we get started, I do want to give my Discord server a quick shout out. This is a Discord server for the Discord.js coding community. So if you guys want to code your bot and are having trouble, go ahead and join this server. Go all the way down here in the coding section. And there are some help sections here as well as a new channel called Command Showcase which are the code helper role. The people that actually have the role for the code helper are able to basically send some creative commands here. And this is all the code that you can freely use as much as you want. So we have something like a weather command. We have an embed builder. We have avatar reload. Um, so these are like free commands code that you guys can steal. Come here, join. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So for cooldowns, all we're going to need is actually the message event .js as well as a command so we can test this on and how we're going to do this is actually with maps if you guys don't know what maps are i'm going to leave two links in the description the first one is going to be an mdn web docs uh, description of maps and also i'm going to leave the discord collections guide if you guys want to learn about discord collections which is basically just a native map with more features to it uh, but we're going to be using both of these in this tutorial i'm not going to explain what they do but go ahead and learn from these websites. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do up here above the module exports is actually create a new map. And this is gonna hold all of our cooldowns. So const cooldowns equals to new map. And how this map is gonna work, I'm just gonna explain quickly so I don't have to explain while I'm actually writing the code. This is gonna hold a key and a value. And the key is actually gonna be the command name. So whatever name of the command, so something like MC server that we're gonna be using for this tutorial. And this is actually going to be a new Discord collection here, new Discord collection. And this new map here is going to hold a timestamp as well as the cooldown amount or the cooldown time. So that is how we're going to be doing this. So once we created this map, come all the way down here. I do want to talk about this in a bit, but I restructured my code a little bit from the last time I did uh, this message event. Um, so I just did a try and catch. Usually before I had if the command does not exist, then do this, but I restructured it to do a try and catch. So we're going to try to execute the actual command. If not, we're going to send a reply saying there was an error trying to execute this you know, command. And then we're actually console.log in the error. Um, so you don't have to have this, but I just did it for a little bit more secure error checking. So here, what we're going to do is create an if statement to check if this cooldown right here already has the command name as one of the keys. So if it doesn't, so cooldowns, if it doesn't have it that has command that name, what we want to do is basically add that command name as a key. So cooldowns dot set, we're going to set a command that name. And then we're also going to set that new discord collection. So new discord dot collection. And then we are going to be done with this if statement. The next thing we're going to do is get the current time, which is the time that the certain, you know, the whoever user sent it that current time. And there's actually a way to do this with JavaScript. It's just date that now. So const current time is equal to date that now. Following this, we're going to create timestamps. Const timestamps is equal to cooldown that get command that name. And then we're going to create the actual cooldown amount, how long it's going to be a cooldown, that command. So cons cooldown, um, let's do amount equals command dot cooldown. And then what we're going to do is actually multiply it by 1000. So we get milliseconds. And actually, we should actually test this by adding the cooldown. Well, not test it, but show you guys what this is. So we're going to do something called command.cooldown. So when you want to have a cooldown on a command, simply come to the command and then right below the aliases or the name, we simply just want to add another key called cooldown. And then we want to do the cooldowns in seconds. So let's say this command is going to have five, actually 10 seconds of cooldown. And that's how simple you have to do in every single um, command file. It's just add this key here for cooldown. And then the seconds, again, if you want to do a whole minute, you do 60 seconds. I'm just going to do 10 seconds for this command. And that is how we're getting this cooldown amount. And then we're multiplying it by a thousand. So we get the milliseconds. All right. So now we're going to check that if the timestamp actually has the message that author that ID, 
right now this code won't work um, because we're only checking for something later on we're going to be adding that check so the timestamps then we're going to do message that author that id and then oh that's not what i want to do open this if statement up we're going to do const expiration time which is just going to be when we're actually able to use that command equals to timestamps dot get message dot author that id and we are going to add cooldown time cooldown uh amount sorry one more if statement if current time is less than the expiration time we want to simply const time left check the actual time left of this which is a simple expression which is expiration time um, minus current time and then we are going to divide it by a thousand and then return the actual message message saying hey this is how much you have left for your command so we're going to do a message that reply we are going to then do a backtick so we can actually use a template literal then do please wait money sign brackets time left so time underscore left to fix and then we're going to two fix it to the first one so we get the first decimal point of the time and then more seconds before using and then we can do something like command name so command name so uh we're going to open this up with the money sign brackets and then do command that name and then that should actually be it all the way at the end of the if statement we actually want to add the off the message that author that id and the current time to this timestamps right here so let's do timestamps that sets message that author that id and then we also want to do current time so that is it let me just explain a little bit of what's going on we're creating a map here for the cooldowns we're checking if that map has a command that name as a key if it doesn't we're going to add that key and also create a new discord that collection we're getting the current time that the member sent the command. Then we're creating a timestamps, which is equal to the cooldown, um, cooldowns that gets the command name, which is actually just getting this from up here. And then we are doing the cooldown amount. So this is getting it from the command uh, file. Then if the timestamps actually has the message.arthur.id, which we actually add all the way down here, then what it's actually, we actually forgot to add something down here, but I'll do it after I explained. And then we are going to get the expiration time, which is actually when they're able to use the command, which is just getting the timestamps and then just adding the cooldown amounts. And then if the current time is less than the expiration time, we want to check the time left by doing this calculation. And then we want to send this to the user saying, you know, this is how long you have until you can use the command. And then that's it. Forgot to say, we do want to do a set timeout down here. And we want to do this because we want to get rid of everything once the time is over. So set timeout. It's going to be timestamps.delete message.author.id and for the amount of time, which is just the cooldown time. So after the cooldown is over, make sure you delete it. Um, so we're not stuck in that little um, cooldown. So. Let's go ahead and save everything. No space dot. Go into our Discord server. We did the cooldown for the MC server command, which has an alias of MC. It's 10 seconds. So what happened here? There was an error. Timestamps is not a function. Did I do this wrong? Sorry, yes. That has. And because of this mistake, I'm going to have the code down below in the description. It's not a function it's supposed to do dot has. We actually check that there is a message that Arthur that ID as a key here. Um, so sorry about that. Let's go ahead and run that one more time. Make sure you check the description for that code if I messed you guys up. MC. All right, 10 seconds. We have seven seconds left, six seconds left, five seconds left, three seconds. Let's just wait three seconds. And let's see, it should be over now. There we go. Also, as easy as this to actually add time, let's do two minutes. Clear, no space dot. And come in here. I can only use this commands or this command 
after two seconds and you guys can go ahead and convert this into minutes and hours you can also add permissions but i'm gonna let you guys do that um so i don't want this video to get that complicated so that's actually pretty much it it's just this code right here and then adding the map up here and then of course adding the key in the module exports and you should have a cooldown for your command with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I do want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons, the Patreons that you're currently seeing in the screen right now. If you guys want to support me in Patreon, there's going to be a link in the description of that as well, as well as a link in the description to my Discord server. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.